Hey guys and welcome to another Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some amazing umbrella illusions and door designs which have been created by so many talented players in the Animal Crossing community thanks to the new Animal Crossing update. Now you can add custom designs to umbrellas and you can also create these cut out standees and of course like with every update in Animal Crossing people find these new items and methods and features and they make really crazy cool ideas out of them. So these are super cool, I'm sure you guys have seen these around the internet and I wanted to show off some of my favourites within this video that you could perhaps use on your own island and really enjoy. So if you're excited for this video be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. So first of all I want to take a look at these little fruit and vegetable boxes by Pochi ACNH on Twitter. I put the design code there so you can get these yourself if you want them. They are so cool. Now to sort of break down how these umbrella designs work if you don't know Basically, you'll design the umbrella in a certain way so that it kind of looks like a box. Obviously, the illusion isn't perfect because it is an umbrella, but it actually works surprisingly well. You know, people are kind of using a sort of 3D type style here to make it look really good, and it just, it does look really great. Obviously, if you turned these around, you would have an actual straight up umbrella, so that wouldn't work so well. But yeah, I really love these. I think they look super duper cool. They've done such a great job and they would work so well on like a farm type island I think. Especially the like hay basket and the potatoes you know. So if you've got like a farming type island these would work so well. I just really love these designs. These are some of my favourites in this entire video because my island is very rural. It's got a lot of farm elements so I just think these would work super well. And you guys should definitely consider getting these designs for your own island because they are just so cool. Now, who doesn't love kitty cats? Kitty cats are super cute and Yamaji Maya on Twitter has designed many different little boxes for cats to go and little homes for cats. So you could have these outdoors maybe for stray cats or you could have it indoors for your own cats. Who knows? They're just nice little houses for cats. They're adorable and I know this player has actually made a ton of different ones for different types of cats, different color boxes and such, so definitely check out their creator page via the design portal in the game because they've made so many and they all look absolutely adorable. This one was my personal favorite, I really love the color theming here, the red and the brown. I feel like there's actually quite a few items in the game that have that kind of color theming already, so that looks really good and again it does kind of remind me of farms, you know, that sort of deep kind of red with the light kind of brown. It gives me like kind of Stardew Valley vibes in a way. Um, and of course you can get a cat in that game. So I'm really certain that people are going to make a lot more of these animal boxes. So I can't wait to see even more. But of course we have to talk about the best kitty that is in boxes. And that is of course Bob. And this one was designed by Gerudo Town. I actually asked them to design this. I sort of said on Twitter, hey, can anyone design a box with Bob in it? And they pulled through, they designed this, it is so cute, it's got a chonky little bob in it, and there's their creator code if you actually want to get a hold of the design yourself. I'd love for you guys to put this somewhere in your house or on your islands, especially if you watch my videos regularly, you know we love bob around here. So yeah, I really love this design. It kind of is a fun play on the whole animals being in boxes thing, I don't know if you guys remember, but Raymond in boxes was like a big meme, I guess it kind of still is. So I'm sure people are going to make Raymond ones if they haven't already and the other cat villagers. But to have one of Bob designed by someone who actually watches the videos is even better. I've actually seen you guys design a ton of different Bob designs and send them to me, like cutouts and flags and all kinds of stuff. So I really appreciate that. And if you want to design even more, please do send them to me, especially on Instagram. Then I could share them as well. That'd be really great. So yeah, I really love this little Bob in boxes design. Now let's talk about doors. So if you don't know how they do doors, basically these are cut out displays. Now, quite a lot of people are just going to use these to make little cute cutout displays, which of course are adorable. You know, those things you can put your face in and do a silly little face. There's a bunch of different faces you can do, which is really cute. And of course, they're good for photos. But I really love how people have made doors out of them. So, of course, the simple panels are something people use a lot in this game. But it was kind of difficult to make like a straight up door or something like that because the design would take two designs and kind of merge them together. I'm sorry, one design and kind of put it into two if that makes sense for the simple panels, whereas this is just one des long design, so you've got more space to design. I hope that makes sense. Basically what I'm trying to say is 
these doors work much better than the simple panels in the sort of doorway regard because it's just one longer design. So yeah, I really like how this one looks. I couldn't find who created it, but I do have the code there if you want to check it out. It's really cool, and I've seen a ton of others, like this one by Kuma Kid, who's not necessarily made doors. I guess there are some doors in here. But these work so well as train windows. They've made their own train, and doesn't that look ridiculously cool? That is so awesome. When I saw this, I was blown away. Someone on Twitter sent it to me, and I just thought it looked really great. So kudos to them for creating such a really nice looking train. I know a lot of people have made trains in this game, but these little cutouts might actually be the best way to make your train in the game. So yeah, I definitely can't wait to see even more of these. This one is just absolutely incredible. It's really great. Sadly, I could not find the code for it, but if someone does, please comment it below so I can put it in the description. I would really appreciate that. Either way, this whole design idea is just really neat and they've done such a great job making it come to life. This next one is by Call Me Coyote on Reddit and it's really cool. It's like a sort of glass window panel and it's beautiful. This one's not a door necessarily, but it is a nice little window and it just looks really, really great. You know, simple panels were all the rage, but now I think it's cut out display time. I especially love the circle in the middle because it really does work as like a nice little window, you know? Those doors with the round windows I always love in real life, so you know, it's really cute and I can't wait to see how people really take advantage of this stuff. In the last update we had the blocks, of course, that people were working with. But I feel like with these umbrellas and these cutout displays, people have been able to be much more creative, which is really great. This next one I just loved. For all you people with like a city themed island or even just like a nice little town, this little trash bin is really cute, you know. I kind of wish we actually had one like this in the game, but this umbrella illusion works really well. And it's by Bernie Helene on Reddit, so it's a really, really cool one. And yeah, if you got a sort of more rustic, kind of dilapidated town. This would work so well. I've seen so many dream addresses like that. And yeah, this is a really, really cute one. So people with city islands, definitely take notes because this is really cool. Now, if you're actually wondering how to find more of these designs yourself, I definitely recommend the custom design portal and setting your criteria. As you can see, you can select a type of design that you want to find exclusively within the game. This will save you searching around social media and such. So I'm searching for umbrella here, as you can see. And you can see that people have made a ton of different boxes, some that you might not even find online, you know, maybe these people don't have social media or anything. I mean, look at this really great pumpkin one, that is just incredible. You can absolutely find so many different ones here. Of course, a lot of people are just making straight up umbrellas, which, you know, is fair enough. I'm not too interested in the umbrellas personally myself, I like the ones the game has, it's, you know, I think they're, they're fine. I don't really use umbrellas too much in the game. But these umbrella illusions, the little boxes are just so amazing. And this little sort of, you know, footage of me going through the design portal really gives you a good idea of just the variety of designs people have made. You know, there's so much variety here and lots of different styles. I mean, this one looks like a little wine box. That is so clever. And of course, you saw the present that I just checked out. There's so many natural ones as well, like ones with fruit. So yeah, if you want to find more of these designs, I highly recommend checking that out, the little portal, because it's just full of really great ones right now. And you know what? It definitely makes me feel proud of this community because people are doing such an amazing job designing these. I never could, honestly. I never would have the skill to do it. So really big kudos to you guys. I love for you guys to let me know down in the comment section below what you think of these umbrella illusions and the door, the cutout illusions, I guess. So yeah, definitely let me know what you think of them in the comment section down below. And if you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. If you want to help support me and the channel, click the join button down below the video to become a channel member. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks for doing so, like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, exclusive content, and of course you get featured at the end of every video. So be sure to do that if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe for more Animal Crossing content and turn on those channel notifications. You can leave a like if you enjoyed and you can check out my links and my merch in the video description. There are also two more videos on the right side of the screen for you to watch. Thank you very much for watching and catch you in the next video.